Hey, what's up guys? XAwesome is here again, and I'm coming at you today with another dual video. Today I'm showing off my Kernomaly deck. This deck was actually a request by one of my viewers, so if you want anything, just request it in the comments below. So I'll let you watch this dual reviews and enjoy. Um, so I was against a Sylvan player. Um, that was pretty cool. Um, so the only play that I had was to go for my shuttle. Um, Kernomalies are, are such a fun deck. Um, I always thought Kernomaly like meant artifact, so I went outside once and um, just talked to my friends about. Uh, we were just talking about artifacts. Yeah, we like to talk about artifacts. That's not weird at all. So we were talking about artifacts, and I kept saying Kernomaly, and like, what the hell does Kernomaly mean? Like, I don't know, artifact. Mm. So. Um, that is so, so not fair. Sylvan Charity. That's, that card is like a freaking graceful charity. It's so not fair. <laughs> but there's nothing that my Tyrus can't handle. Tyrus is such an awesome card. I just lo love going for him. It's just so awesome. Um, one thing I didn't understand. Um, here it said this card cannot be destroyed by card effects. Oh. Never mind. I thought Tyrus cannot be destroyed by battle as well. My my mistake. So I activate Onus over here and destroy his token because that's what would everyone do. So he gave up at this point. He lost hope. Wow. Now this was a really funny duel. I was playing against a Hieratic player and look at that, guys. <laughs> look at that awesome hand. The bad thing was that I actually checked his deck and he had nine normal monsters. Nine! I actually started playing Hieratics and I don't know the deck more now. And freaking nine normal monsters? Wow. <laughs> and he wonders, just look at that hand. Such a sexy hand over here. <laughs> and look at that. Wow, that's what we call a vanilla hand. I'm really glad I actually dark bribed his, <laughs> his card so he won't be able to add anything. I go for Tyrus because that's the that's the play that I always do. I go for Tyrus because he cannot be destroyed by card effects, which is pretty awesome. So it doesn't matter what they do, they cannot get rid of him on the field, then he can get rid of one card on the field. Okay, that's nice. And here I was against Mermails, which that was interesting, but um, I need to ask you a question, guys, at the end of this duel right now. At one part, he, the player just told me something weird. You'll understand in a second. So he goes with this play. That was interesting. I actually don't understand mermaids at all. Maybe one day I'm gonna start playing them. But um, So he goes for this play and um, that's what I do. I actually replaced this guy with a Cyber Dragon because he had technically has the same effect. So I go for this guy, my Mucha Mech. Attack this monster, destroy it, and then now I attack with Tyrus, destroying his Abyss Spike. Okay? So when I do that, he special summons three Mermails. And then when I killed the Abyss Spike, he told me a wrong, wrong choice. It's like I shouldn't have attacked him. Well, if you're a mermaid player, if you're a mermaid player, could you please tell me if that was a wrong choice destroying this guy? I don't know. I just don't understand mermaids. And I destroyed the face down. So he says on this card. I got my Nebra disc, which was freaking awesome. And he just gives up at this point. So, could anyone tell me what was the mistake that I did? And here I was against this Galaxy player. Um, I actually went against Galaxies twice using Chronomaly, but I forgot to save the second duel. So, that sucked. Um, so that was interesting. He goes for Silent Honor Arc Knight. Which... Why would you go for Silent Honor Arc? Because um, I didn't special summon this guy. That was weird. But I just removed him from the field. I didn't want him to be in the field. As it's a Chronomaly beat down. <laughs> Using double pyramid eye tablet. That's awesome. Hmm. So he 
name special summoning. It goes for number 51. 61. Okay, it serves. I love this card. It looks so nice. Here's me testing the deck against Archfiend, which that was pretty cool because no one plays Archfiend most of the times. But it's nice actually to see some guy actually playing the deck. It's just like Fortune Ladies. No one actually plays Fortune Ladies except me and one of my subscribers. Um, it's just really, it's really sad. It's just sad to see some decks being forgotten. Imagine if the cards could talk. What would they say? Uh, <laughs> or maybe that's just me. Maybe I just don't see any other players playing the actual deck. Well, Tyrus. I love Tyrus. He's so awesome. He sets down the torrential tribute. Do you know what that means, guys? I destroyed the Peel spell because, I don't know, he, he just added it for no reason. I'm like, it must be something dangerous. And he gave up. And I just want to show you this quick OTK, guys, that I had against this McLeod player. For those of you who don't know, which you basically actually know, because everyone knows about McLeod, they basically, um, like, stop synchros, technically. That's what they're made for. Stopping synchros. I, or I guess. Yeah. So bottomless is my never disc. Interesting. Special summon, special summon, and go for more special summoning. You know, guys, I was always wondering. Um, I was like, always had the idea in my mind to make a ZW Chronomaly deck because they can go easily for rank four and rank five monsters. You go for rank four Utopia and rank five Leo Arms, and you can add as much as ZW you want from your deck to your hand. Hmm. So I go for my awesome play that I always do and go for the OTK. Yeah. Bonus round, I really didn't want to show this reply because that raccoon player was terrible. Come on, that was terrible. But um, I actually was requested by one of my subscribers to make a baby raccoon deck, so if you're watching this, um, <laughs> I'm gonna make your deck soon. I have some other requests to finish, which, just like the Chronomaly one. But... <laughs> You know, most people don't actually run Honest in Chronomaly, but I think you should run it because you have a fair amount of light. And you see guys, this is why you should do your homework. That's what they, why they built Dual Academy. So, why would you do that? Alright. Um, okay. Obedience School. Nice card. See guys, this is why, why you need to run Honest in every Chronomaly deck. You have a fair amount of lights. And the duel is over. Well guys, tell me what are your thoughts about these duels that you just watched. And the deck profile for my Chronomaly deck is coming soon, so make sure you wait for that. If you have any requests, please post it in the comments below and tell me what you guys think about the video because I always like to know what you guys think and we have, have a little bit of chat and um, so just be, be patient and thanks for watching guys, thanks for awesome, sign up and I'll see you in the next video.